Does Jared Leto's Joker already suck? Yesterday, David Ayer, the director of Suicide Squad, took a picture of Jared Leto as the new Joker. I don't like it. I'm obviously not going to judge Leto's Joker solely on the basis of this promotional photo, but my first impression is a negative one. First of all, the tattoos are not that cool and they're not that creative. I'm not fundamentally against the idea of the Joker having tattoos, but a fucking skull wearing a jester hat, a deck of cards, damaged, ha 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 ha. These tattoos are so lacking in creativity or artistry. The Joker is a character defined by his unique style, and he has a wonderful aesthetic across tons of different artist renditions, different actors, different incarnations. Do you really think that he would adorn himself with such mediocre skin art? I mean, just look at some of what's possible with the art of tattoos. There are actually people with tattoos of Heath Ledger's Joker that look better than the tattoos on Jared Leto's Joker. And isn't this supposed to be a criminal genius that we're looking at, always playing elaborate games, manipulating people's interests against one another? Hell, he's even a scientific genius in some incarnations. My point is that this character is defined in part by his creativity, and a tattoo of a skull wearing a jester hat doesn't seem like the tattoo of a creative person. It seems like something a frat boy would get because he thinks it'll make him look badass. Another thing I don't like is that this just feels like such a downgrade. I know it's hard to follow up one of the most iconic performances of all time, but just look at these two side by side. Ledger's aesthetic just makes me instantly curious. There's something cerebral about him, as well as something unhinged. Leto has definitely got the unhinged look down, but what else is this image giving me? He looks like a generic villain. If no one told me this was the Joker, I'm not sure I would have known right away. I mean, there are enough clues that you'd figure it out after you looked at it for a second, but with such an iconic character, shouldn't you recognize them on sight? As much as Ledger and the creative team of the Dark Knight did play around with the aesthetic of the Joker, you'd never look at this character and mistake him for anyone else, not even for a second. You know you're looking at the Joker. Same with Jack Nicholson, same with Cesar Romero. Jared Leto just doesn't exude the presence of the Joker for me in this image. He looks more like a random street punk that Batman would beat up in 30 seconds, and he'd be credited simply as tattooed gang member number four. Now, maybe Jared Leto is going to give a performance that totally makes the character we see here make sense, and I'm completely open to a different interpretation of the Joker, because he's already a character with a lot of different interpretations. But, like I said, my first impression of this particular incarnation isn't a favorable one. But I really hope that Jared Leto proves me wrong, because I love this character, and I'd love to see another person bring him to the big screen with a new twist, a new way of looking at the character, and I'm open to Jared Leto doing that, but this image just, it's rubbing me the wrong way. I don't care for it. What do you think?